Hi there, welcome to Vintage Finds. Today I'm sitting outside Value Village. In this video, I'm going to try and find uh, stuff that has a good shape but might not have the look that is in these days. I went on all those high-end uh, websites like Anthropology and West Elm and Pottery Barn and whatever else I could find <clears throat> that seemed designer and high-end and I looked through their stuff to see what kind of vases they're selling, they're selling um, what kind of shapes they're selling and <clears throat> how much they're selling for because I want to try and make some dupes uh, for my own home and maybe to sell too. It's just it would have to be I would have to mention especially if it's a vintage item that it's vintage but it's redesigned by me. Um, I know a lot of people out there don't like changing vintage stuff and I agree with that if they're pretty. Not all things vintage are pretty you know what I mean just like just like nowadays, you can go to Pottery Barn and find something gorgeous and then in the same breath you find something that's not gorgeous and not everything has to be beautiful. <laughs> so, so I'm going to put up the, the screenshots that I took of the decor and I think this is one of my advice to people who want to shop uh, or who have expensive taste but not the money. Um, you can just go to Value Village and look for dupes and um, what I would recommend is uh, getting screenshots of stuff you like and then before you go in you have a look at them so they're fresh in your head um, and then you go in and you shop for them sorry my voice is still weird because I'm still sick it's going to me I have to talk to my doctor again today to see what's up it's very hard for me to talk and you know but it's okay I still wanted to to make a video all right um, so thank you for joining me today thank you for tuning in remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already if you like it please share it and comment if there's something you see and you liked or you just have a comment about it i'd love to hear all right uh hope you guys enjoy aluminum vases for about a hundred dollars with that kind of a shape this looks like antique like rusted this umbrella stands for 189 paper mache for a hundred dollars <laughs> just look at these shapes i love this one this is what i'm going for and um, I'm just looking at the shapes here to see if I find something similar, especially the ones with these handles. They're like $200 on sale, uh, like these ones. But I want, I like that organic sort of white colored textured shape. I'm um, sorry, texture on the pots. This one's $125. I like this one as well, but again, $88 for one. These were $54 and I wanted to do one of them like that, but it didn't work out. I like the red under this didn't do that either but i will probably at some point look at this looks like just clay stuck on moon and thing and it was like so expensive two trays stuck together all right here we are we're in value village and this is actually from my previous trip uh video that i also put on so if any of you have seen this you know what i got here i looked for the shapes obviously the brass one i was gonna get nothing was to be done to the brass one this was gonna <laughs> i was just gonna sell this one as is but the rest of them i was looking for something that wasn't really too vintage that i would feel bad redoing it um but i also wanted you know the unique i didn't want it to be plastic or paper mache i wanted it to be ceramic or glass which i did end up finding so that was cool so much variety like if you ever need pots or vases please definitely check the vintage sorry the thrift stores first before you go buy new because well the new prices are ridiculous and you know they usually stick to one kind of style that's in but i think if you if you like the thrill of the hunt you can really find some really nice pieces at thrift stores and then you also help you know um a charitable cause I thought this was brass, but um, it was not. And this one wasn't bad, but uh, I didn't end up picking it. There was a, when there's so, so many things on the shelf, sometimes you miss really cool things. For those who've seen this already or aren't interested in the shopping part, you could skip ahead to the DIY part, um, but some people really like to see 
how I pick things out so that's why I made this video this one was plastic so no I didn't want plastic this one was some sort of a pedestal maybe a candle holder even I found a similar one on here like down here the white one also plastic I believe this was like Ikea great shape but yeah <laughs> Normally anything with wood accents I pick up right away, but uh, I did not want to do that um, Do a DIY on that one. So I left it Okay, so I found a Japanese made drip glaze pot um, Later when I did research I realized it is actually quite vintage, but um, it wasn't studio pottery signed or anything so I don't think it's mass produced. I mean kind of probably is and I was a little like unsure whether I wanted to DIY it but um, I think it looked really good after I did DIY it so I'm glad I did. That yellow one was actually pretty nice and this one. I didn't grab it though. <laughs> I feel like I've looked at this one like 20 times. I just couldn't figure out. See it's a great vintage pot. I just wouldn't do DIY it so I was like, why am I grabbing it? It's terracotta pottery. Very pretty. I would have gotten it if I needed a pot for myself, but not to DIY because it's pretty on its own, you know? Although I had been here before, I completely did not see these before. Maybe they put it later on. I don't know, but whatever. Found this round one. Looks very similar to the shapes that I was looking at. I'm checking out the wood one again because, you know, I am quite attracted to it, but I wouldn't DIY it. I mean, now I'm thinking maybe I could. Hmm. This one um, looked so cool. If you flip it up upside down, it could be like a candle stand. And um, I thought, you know, once I do the white baking soda and a paint, paint DIY it's gonna look great and it actually did you'll see um, near the end of the video when I show you guys the all the pots that I did successfully not the unsuccessful ones I grabbed this one because it had the antique look from uh, before when I showed you the screenshots here it is see this is the look the rust uh, metal look and it has it so I'm like hmm all right I'll go grab it maybe I'll put a plant or something so I wanted to do these but I felt like it was way too many pots already they would look like this right um, but I was like you know what let me try the other ones first see if I'm successful before buying a bunch of these so I left these behind but they were cool especially with the handles that that are in these days with that boho mid-century look So this was the glassware section and now I'm back in the vase section because you know what there's so many things and you miss stuff like this one it was right in front of my face and I didn't pick it up last time it's $4.99 or $4.49 I can't remember anyways it's ceramic even though it kind of looks plasticky uh, I picked this one because it looked cool but then I put it back because I didn't like the art on it <laughs> anyways so this one has uh, the um, it's 449 mid-century shape it was shiny black which is not in these days and I was thinking I'll do matte black like this but I ended up doing the white one you'll see it actually looks great if I do change my mind later on I could just add like spray paint to the white and make it black again okay here is my haul these ones i try to do like to get this shape and do the gold but was not successful uh this is the japanese one like this i think with the handle um i got a good good find there i was going to use acrylic put some spray paint to add like primer but i didn't end up doing the spray paint and this one looks like this kind of it has a bigger snout but that's okay so it has a round shape that i was looking for i didn't have doing the primer like the spray paint because you know last time spray paint inside the house was a disaster so uh, my daughter suggested i just use a brush to scratch or sandpaper anyways so here i am mixing the white acrylic 
with a little bit of gold to give it a slightly beige not as white look and with a lot of baking soda at first um, there wasn't enough baking soda it was actually very liquidy I did not like the consistency for the look that I wanted so I added a lot more baking soda until I got it to become the consistency I hate taking these stickers off oh my god it's they're so sticky windex works so thankfully that's good but sometimes these stickers take off um like the paint or you know it's it's really annoying anywho look how pretty it looks all shined up you know and clean but i was like still contemplating should i do it should i do it anyways i used a brush for like five seconds and then i was like nah i don't have patience for this and then I started doing a layer. Yes, it took longer. Of course it did. I didn't prep it. You know what I mean? Um, but it still worked. I had to do, I think, three layers on this one. Totally worth it because it just definitely gave me the look that I was looking for, you know? So just to recap, it's baking soda with white acrylic paint and some gold paint to give it... Um, slightly different kind of white it's still white not beige but slightly organic looking you know the kind that's in these days and um you have to let it dry i would suggest letting it dry for a few hours okay so here's a new shade she wanted to do one so i gave her a glass decanter bottom that i got from a friend i told her i'll i'll you know turn it into a nice vase for her so i told her new she could do that she look at the amount of patience this girl has because she went through the whole brushing process to scratch it up to make sure that the paint actually sticks because she kept telling me you know mama the paint isn't going to stick i'm like shh just be quiet let me do it anyways she did an excellent job and i was really proud of her for getting it done so fast and so well um she didn't miss anything and it was like well done the strokes were nice uh, i mean it's pretty organic the way you paint these things um just for the look that we're going for but still great job with the with the grooves and the and the dots that it has she did the first layer and then i um did the second layer for her after i went i came back to to finish up all the pieces um and but uh, unlike my other one where i didn't prep it properly or scratch it up prep properly where i had to do three layers i only had to do two on th this one so <laughs> that shows you that prep work is worth it or should be i mean it is yes it is fine Okay, so she's done and this is how it looks. I just took a quick picture to show you guys. Here's the other one that was very shiny. When I cleaned it up, it actually looked really pretty, but um, I was determined to do, <laughs> to do the DIY. So here it is. I started painting it. I did do use my sand, paper, my sand uh, block this time to, to get it nice um, so the paint would actually stick. I think this one also needed three layers. So this is one of the ones that, that has a thicker layer on it, just like the Japanese one. But the other two, I only did two layers. And uh, you know, you, you can see that, that it's thinner, but it uh, they look great and I'll show you. And uh, but if I didn't change my mind, I wanted to do a thicker layer later on. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm doing it on the Japanese one, but really it hasn't really dried. <laughs> I have no patience, guys. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be doing DIYs. But um, yeah, so I, I that's why I had to I think go over it like three times anyways. But you have to let it dry fully before you start the, sec the second or third layer. It's just easier, you know. So these are the ones I got from Michaels, and they're color was coming off even the sticker that i took off had took off a part of their color like i don't understand why they would make such horrible quality anyways i my plan was to do the bottom half and then put gold leaf on the top half um but it didn't really work out so um i'm not going to show you the end results of these in this video if i do end up fixing them then yes i'll probably post it in a short but i wanted to show you guys that i was gonna work on these just didn't really work out and i was still mad at buying these from michael's i should have not <laughs> 
Okay, I started doing this one again, even though it's not dry, but here's the end result, guys. Look how beautiful they look. And I love the shape on the one that's in the front. It's so beautiful. I put a plant in it. So this is the one with the thicker layers. You can tell that they're thicker, but I love the organics sort of vibe this one has less layers and when the sun shines into it you can tell so does this one also just two layers of the the paint um but you know what still gives a great look this one has a thicker layer as well this is the japanese one and i really love the shape in this color on this one so look how beautiful it looks with other items that are different shapes um smaller and bigger with colors they're so neutral that you can add whatever you want with them so here's the big one with the plant in it now the planter didn't really go inside it but the black on top is looks okay the greenery with the white neutral looks really beautiful and this one now is my favorite one i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please remember to subscribe i have more diys coming up and thrifting videos as usual Thank you for all those who subscribed and love your comments. Thank you. Bye.